Hi, welcome to another video uh, from PharmDME, Intro to Hospital Pharmacy. This will be the top eight drips to have memorized. And I don't necessarily mean that you need to have them memorized, but you need to be able to find your reference quickly and get started on these drips as fast as possible as they can be ordered stat. Uh, you'll also just see them a lot. So that way you don't need to keep going back and forth. You just kind of have them memorized and then you can uh, input them faster and your technician can work on them faster and it'll make your, uh, your job easier. Uh, sometimes like a, a nurse or a doctor might call you, be like, hey, uh, you know, we need a levofed drip, uh, eight milligrams in NS, you know, and you can just have your technician start working on it, it, you know, waiting for the order to come in. And then by the time the order comes in, you've already got it ready. You just, you know, you double check everything and you can get it out the door quickly. Um, so let's get started with the list. The first one that you'll run across, uh, probably the most, uh, depending on the, your situation, is going to be levofed or norepinephrine. Uh, you'll mostly hear it referenced as levofed. Uh, it can go in D5 or NS. It kind of just depends on the patient's situation. Um, and then it can go in, uh, it can be used various different concentrations, uh, mostly based on, on how their kidney function is going. Uh, patients will be on levofed for, you know, for days or so. So if, you know, if they're running it really rapidly, you can end up with actually a lot of volume. So uh, especially someone with a kidney, uh, with kidney issues, you, you want to make it a little more concentrated so they'll end up with less volume. So you'll see 8, 16, and 32 milligrams, and they're all in two, uh, uh, NS or D5-250. Uh, it'll be a total volume, so... Uh, you'll end up pulling out the volume that you're going to put back in, um, so your technicians will know how to do that. Uh, but so if you're making a 16 milligram bag, you'll pull out 16 mLs because it's a one-to-one -one concentration vial, and then you'll put in 16 mLs of levofed um, to get your concentration. Uh, for the directions for use, it's going to usually be titrate to a certain map, maybe it's 65 or whatever your hospital protocol is. Um, and then there are premix bags available. I've seen the 8s and I've seen the 16s. I, I haven't ever seen any other concentration. It doesn't mean they don't exist. And this one is uh, protect from light. So uh, whenever you get done mixing it, you'll have these little green bags or brown bags or whatever color bags that you'll put on top of your, uh, your IV solution to protect it from light. All right, the next one you'll run across is amiodarone. Um, you're, it'll be referenced as amiodarone. I don't, uh, some people will still use the brand name Cordarone, but not very often. Uh, it can only go in D5W. Uh, the concentration I see the most will be 900 milligrams and 500 mLs. And then uh, the way it's ran is, is also this next um, one milligram per minute for six hours, and then it'll be a half a milligram per minute for the next 18 hours. Um, this one needs to be sent with a filter, and you'll also protect it from light. With amiodarone, you'll also usually see a bolus dose beforehand. Um, it's 150 milligrams, and you'll run that over 10, 15 minutes or so, and then they'll start this drip. So it's kind of a three-step thing. They'll run a bolus dose, and then the one milligram per minute, and then the half a milligram per minute. And then after that, if the patient can, usually they'll take PO amiodarone um, for the rest of their hospital stay or, you know, obviously doctor orders. But. All right, the next one is an Ativan or Lorazepam drip. It can go in D5 or NS. We usually see it in NS. And you'll just make a one milligram per one ml concentration drip. So um, we'll use this, this first one here. It'll be 100 milligrams and 100 mLs. Uh, you'll whenever, so you'll need um, five vials of Ativan, at least the, the vial size that we have, and it's a total of 50 mLs itself. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll pull out all 50 mLs of the Ativan and you'll add it to, to a 50 mL bag, and uh, that'll end up being your 100 total mLs. Um, and so, uh, and this one is also protected from light, and you'll typically titrate. Um, uh, what's funny about this one is it, it makes a chemical reaction in the bag, and the bag will actually be kind of warm, like warm to the touch. It's kind of cool. All right, the next one on the list is vasopressin. Uh, 
a lot of times this one will get added on to leave a fed or some of the other ones um, it can go in NS or D5 um, there's there's various different dilutions uh, that you can end up mixing uh, we use this 100 milligrams per 100 mls um, so you'll end up using 5 ml or 5 yeah 5 mls from the vials and you'll add it to 95 mls of diluent and again this is a titrate all right the next one will be neosinephrine or phenylephrine uh, you'll hear this one labeled as is either one. Uh, I would say it's about 50-50 is how you're going to hear it. Uh, let's go back to the last one. Vasopressin, you'll hear that one is vasopressin. You, they're not a brand name uh, that people will usually use for it. All right, for the uh, phenylephrine, uh, you'll mix it in NS. Um, this one will be 25 milligrams and 250, and you will titrate it. All right, next one will be epinephrine. Um, this one you will mix in, it can be mixed in NS or D5, and this is a 4 milligram dose in 250. You can do 5 milligrams, you can do 3 milligrams. Uh, our hospital just kind of sticks with the 4 milligram dose, um, and again, you'll titrate it. And I guess this is a good example, you know, like uh, these are examples to have memorized, but whenever you start your job, you know, memorize what they use. It's going to be different at every hospital. So memorize. You know, have memorized and written down and easily accessible uh, the drip concentrations that they use. Whenever I first got started, um, I just wrote down every single one that I ran across, every single drip, every single piggyback, exactly how we did it. And then for my first six months to a year, I could just easily reference it. I had it right on my desk. I could reference it as fast as I needed. Um, and so that way I didn't have to ask or I didn't have to like you know, look it up every single time. I could reference it quickly. All right, the next one you'll run across is fentanyl. This one, um, you know, we used a lot more during 2020 uh, than we were using previously, so we're not sure if this is going to continue or not. Uh, but uh, fentanyl can go in D5 or in S. Um, again, this will probably be one where your hospital will have a certain protocol on how you'll have it mixed. Uh, we used the um, 10 milligrams per ml uh, concentration, and that's just kind of what we stuck with during COVID. Uh, things were so complicated, we just wanted to keep it easy. So we either had a 1,000 milligram bag in 100 mLs or a 250, uh, or sorry, 2,500 milligram bag in 250 mLs. Um, we did that way so that the concentration was always the same. It was always a 10 to 1. Before COVID, we did 1250 milligrams and 250 mLs, which made a five to one concentration. And it kind of just depended on, on who was ordering it and which, honestly, which pharmacist was inputting it, which one of those we would, we would make. Uh, this one you'll protect from the light. And that one's a little weird because the vials will be uh, protected from the light, but there's pre-mixed bags, and then those ones aren't protected from light. So I'm not sure if there's if they actually need to be or not. But I always kind of just, you know, on the side of caution, I'll just put them in a. I'll protect it from light. All right, the next one is cardizem or diltiazem. It can go in D5 or in S. Um, this one, my image got flipped around backwards there. But uh, this one is uh, 125 um, milligrams, and that's supposed, I'm sorry, that's a typo. It's supposed to be 125 and 125 mLs. Uh, so you'll uh, get 25 mLs from the vial, and you'll add it to 100 mLs of diluent. And that one's also a titrate. All right, so if you like our content, please continue to like and subscribe, and we'll continue to make more videos.